What is up, everybody? Welcome to the chat. <clears throat> hey, what can we do now? What's good? Oh man, look, the lights aren't even on. Wow. Amateur hour over here, folks. What's up? How we doing? I hope everyone is well. Hope we're feeling good. Take a few days off and look what happens. I wish they were days off. They were, they were interesting. They were interesting. <laughs> Today's been interesting too. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent. I've had some weird stuff going on. I, uh, I do have high blood pressure. Um, and uh, it's been off the charts today for no apparent reason. And it has really messed with my steeds. So it has been a rough one. The doctor said, maybe you're, this is how you're exhibiting flu. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean this is how I'm exhibiting the flu? For those of you that don't know, my entire family has had the flu. Logan had the flu first, and then both the girls tested positive for it on Wednesday. I tested negative for it. But now here we are. Now here we are, and I feel okay. I feel fine. Really, the symptoms are fine. I don't feel symptomatic at all except my blood pressure is through the roof for no reason out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm, on, I'm on my medicine. I didn't change anything, didn't move anything. Nothing shifted, changed, went anywhere. Just feel, just feel strange. So it's been a week, huh? It's been a week. Welcome to the chat though. Sneaky, congratulations on first. Chuck. Thank you for using your Prime subscription. You can only use that in one place a month and you chose to use it here. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my friend, if you would like to spin the sub wheel, boink, there it is. Let me know how hard and uh, what way you would like me to spin it and I will make that happen for you. Folks, I've already decided, I've already decided to follow Jesus. 
That's the first thing. Second thing that I have decided is I am going to take a day this week off to mail. I'm gonna spend the whole day figuring out the mail situation. Everything, and I do mean everything, is shipping Wednesday. So, it's happening, it's happening. All right, I'm gonna try for as hard as humanly possible, but I am I'm weak. I'm weak with high blood pressure, so. Bartowski. Sticker pack for you, Chuck. Do you have, oh, don't you have several sticker packs that I'm gonna be sending you on Wednesday? <laughs> I feel like that might be you. If that is you, I'm sorry. Makes three. Well, the good news is, is that we have many new stickers. Maybe I'll throw in a little something extra there. We'll figure it out. That is very funny that you keep landing on stickers. I mean, the odds are pretty good. It's three, three stickers in there. Kids love stickers. They decorate their school binders and notepads. Oh, that's good. To know. Maybe I'll throw in. That's what I'll do. Chuck, since you're such a good sport about getting stickers three times, I'll, I'll throw in your kids some extra stickers. I got tons of like Pokemon stickers and stuff like that. I'll throw in some fun stuff. Fun stickers for the kiddos. What's up, Chovy? Pocket mans. We're playing some Pokemans. Uh, I've beaten the game. <laughs> <coughs> I've beaten the game. Um, I've officially beaten the game. I've beaten the the, the Pokemon League. I've done all the things. Uh, uh, it was a lot of fun. One good thing about having a sick household is you do get a lot of video gaming time in. And so, yeah. Played a lot of the game. Same, now just collecting. I've almost got the full decks. That's actually the first thing we're going to do on stream today is I'm going to get uh, Caesar and Weavile. So we got to get those out of the way. Uh, maybe, maybe a Finizen. All three paths, post game, post post game. Yeah, almost got the decks completed. I've got like five shinies. I can show you guys those if you want to see, but if you want to keep that spoiler free, then I won't. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it feels good, man. Feels good. The first thing we got to do is get these, get these, uh, these pocket mans out of the way. Cause I gotta, I gotta unlock the last few. Unlock the last few here. So let's go for... Go for this. I actually haven't done any trading with myself until this point. Wanted to mention to you that our mutual friend mentioned that he wanted to co-op with you. Hey, let's do it. What mutual friend wants to co-op with me? Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to do local trading. Local trading. And I also need to figure out who I'm gonna give myself. The other bearded one, got you. Well, I, th I think we're friends on um, on Switch, but if we're not, we need to be. All right, let's link trade. I haven't even, I haven't even tried. We're gonna, let's see. I'm trying to figure out, if I'm in offline mode, will it go, th go via Bluetooth? Will it go via like local distance? Like NFC stuff? Just, just when in doubt, I'm going to go with um, 66668888. Nice holy number. And we're going to do the same thing on mine. Oh, wait, you know what? I haven't given my Pokemon their items yet. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second, other Nathan. I haven't given my Pokemon their items. All right. Scyther. Scyther, buddy. You need an iron coat. And I think, oh, and I need Slow King. Is Slow King Slow Bro or Slow Poke holding a King's Rock? Does anybody remember? I can never remember. And I'd like to try and get my Palafan. Out of sense, I think you would like that Pokemon. You would either really like that Pokemon or absolutely not like that Pokemon. But I like Palafin. I think he's fun. 
I think I'm going to name mine Clark Kent. Okay, Scyther has the thing he needs. Let's go to Weavile next. Razor Claw. Whoopsie. I'm going to have to Google it. You think it is Slowpoke? I'm going to Google it just in case, because that way I don't waste everybody's time. <clears throat> yep, Slowpoke. All right, let's find ourselves a Slowpoke. Give him an item. Oh, he had an item. Ha! That's funny. He already had one. Nice! I caught one holding a King's Rock. That's pretty rare. Cool! Good on me. I've had some crazy odds. I've had some crazy odds things. Um, <clears throat> like, really, just some wild stuff happen. My very first Masuda egg for um, Smoliv was the shiny. Very first one. I wasn't even doing it for Masuda method because I don't have the shiny charm yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I, I, I was like certain it was not going to take. But then it sure did. <clears throat> All right, let's see if it finds me. See, I'm worried I'm worried I'm going to have to go online. We're going to try offline mode because I feel like it's got to have local distance, right? Get me? Get me! Okay, so I'm going to send myself... What should I send? What should I send Check? What does Check need? It's always nice to have all three starters. That'd be pretty cool. Should we do that? Should we have all three starters? Let's do it. Okay. Oh, no, wait. That's the opposite of what I need to do, right? Because I wanted to evolve. Oopsie. All right, we'll do that in a minute because I'm going to trade back for him because I want him back. Uh, let's see, let's see. But remember that, I think we're going to trade the starters over. That'd be fun. All right, Weavile. Or do I even have anything to trade? <laughs> I do, I started filling out the decks. Okay, cool. Um, let's, let's trade Gabagool. Trade it. It gives this notice every time, and it is very, very annoying. I'm going to pause Spoopy. So we can enjoy the Muzak. The Poka Muzak. Goodbye, Gamma Ghoul. Don't worry, you're going to get him back. Get ready for some Digi-volution. <clears throat> I'll get my next one ready while that one's doing the thing that it's doing. Good job. Wait, what? Why did it not evolve? Does that have to be a certain level? 45 feels like a pretty high level. <clears throat> Do I have to back out to get CM evolve? That's nonsense. Surely not. Ah. Ah. Am I wrong about Weavile? I could have sworn it was Razor Claw. Well, now I'm going to have to Google that one, too. This is silly. Nicest thing about this is that it does save your link codes. And it's so nice. Let's look up Weavile. What's up, Zandu? At night? I gotta wait till nighttime? Duh! Make me wait till nighttime. All right, well, I guess I'm waiting till nighttime. Ugh. All right, well, just from. Uh, is it nighttime in my game? I doubt it. All right, we'll just trade it right back. All right, here we go again. Again, it shows that communication error every single time. Zando, welcome. Welcome, thank you for your subscription. 
14 months is crazy, dude. That's awesome. Um, let me know how hard you want me to spin the wheel. What direction? Clockwise, counterclockwise. We're trading some pocket mans to fill out the decks. No spoilers, though. I'm not going to spoil anything. Don't worry. Unless you don't know that Scyther evolves into Caesar. Movie, movie game and Gotchpon, you got it. And that was when Stanley knew that he was about to receive something unknown from the Gotchpon on machine. Okay, now surely he just evolves. Right? Right? Surely. Yes. Weavile still throw me off. Zando, 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 happy Monday to ya, to the fifth reigning gotcha king. Very nice, dude. Chats in the clap, chats in the clap for Zando. What is up, my dude? Congrats. Clockwise at a speed of 11. Man, we just did we just did 11. Now let me get my next trade going. Let me get my next trade up. Another multi-term rain, that's right. Bullet punch, you'll learn it later. You'll learn all your moves later. We don't need anything from you right now, Caesar. For those of you that haven't traded, um, you will notice that some of the Pokemans are bump are bouncing. You see how that one's Caesar's bouncing? That means that um, I don't have it in my Pokedex. So whenever you're trading with a friend, you can see what Pokemon they don't yet have registered in their Pokedex. So you can know what to send them to entice them to send you something nice. All right, movie, movie game for Zando. Okay, Zando, <clears throat> here is your movie suggestion. It is a combination of two movies. Victor Navorsky, a man from Kokosia, is forced to live inside the JFK airport until Leslie Edwards and Bartholomew Hunt finish their expedition and beat Lewis and Clark to the Pacific Ocean. Best of luck to you, Zando. One more go. Here we go. Uh, Victor Navorsky, a man from Kokosha, is forced to live inside the JFK airport until Leslie Edwards and Bartholomew Hunt finish their expedition and beat Lewis and Clark to the Pacific Ocean. I would not get that one in a million years. A million. No chance would I ever get that one. Man, when is it going to be nighttime? Was there anybody else I need to evolve? I think it was just the three of them, wasn't it? So now I just got to wait for it to be nighttime. Bogus. Yeah, I got the boy. All right, I'm going to send over a Sprigatito. Sprigatito. It's a Japanese Sprigatito, too. Zando's reign will be longer than Queen Elizabeth. The Terminalmost Heroes. Congratulations, Zando. You got it. I have no idea how. I have no idea how you got that. But chat's in the clap for Zando. Chat's in the clap. Now I'll do your, your sub wheel. Did you say clockwise? Yeah. What did you get? What did you get? Let's find out. Gotcha up on. Another gotcha pun for Zandu. I wonder if Nurse Joy or Officer Jenny would like a gotcha pun as a gift. But this one's free. 
It is another Chaos Emerald, a blue Chaos Emerald this time. Aww. Dos Mas. Dos Mas. All right. Now I just gotta wait till nighttime. Now I just gotta wait till nighttime. So we'll go ahead and quit the trade. The next time that we notice that it's nighttime, don't let me forget. Gotta trade that Weavile. Okay. Now where in the world were we? Time to lay down the kiddos. BRB. All good. Actually, I really like Smoliv, though. That is a bummer. I kind of don't want to get rid of him. But I did bring over Sprigatito. Man, I don't know what to do now. I guess we'll just put him in his box. Uh, I do think I'm going to change some things up. I kind of want to use Nimble, because I used uh, Flamigo in my personal playthrough, and I think I'd rather use Nimble in this playthrough. Let's see, that's 36, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Let's see if there's anybody else I want to trade out. It'd be nice if I could see. Hmm, do I want to use anybody else that I'm not using? I wonder what Taurus this is. Just a standard. For those of you that don't know, there are two different types of Tauros in the game. There is the water Tauros. Ooh, that'd be fun. Oh, Mankey would be really fun to train up. Now that I know how to do Charcadet, I might do Charcadet again. But I have good boy, so he's kind of pointless. Till I get the stuff. Yeah, I know, Mankey's real fun, but I'm using Nimbus. Nimble. If I'm using Nimble, then I already kind of have... I mean, I guess he, he becomes bug fighting, doesn't he? But he's not bug fighting yet, so I need him right now. Although, I don't know, I got a pretty good squad. I don't really need Nakachu. Electric's kind of nice to have, but only kind of. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep him. I do. I really love Annihilate, though. Annihilate, I think, is one of the best designs. One of the best new redesigns. I have a lot of fun with it. I think we're good. We're good. Now we just got to make it nighttime and figure out what in the world we're doing. Where was I? Where was I? Where am I headed? What did I just do? What did I just do? What do I want to do? I doubt I have any quick balls, huh? And I have my new baby that hasn't even been trained yet. No, no quick balls. All right, well, this is the wrong decision to make. Oh, and good boy's dead. Okay. This is fine. I'm fine. I just want my Weavile. That's all I want. So I caught about 100 LeChonks and named one Call Kevin Bacon 72, etc. I don't know why I'm just sticking with it. I love it. Oh man, a one hitter. Do a ground type move. Oh boy, I'm, I'm in a bit of a sticky wicket. I really wasn't thinking. I thought I was on my playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> definitely thought I was on my playthrough. It definitely thought that I had um, quick balls. Yikes, dude. Two crits in a row, man, huh? All right, Giraffe Rig. I guess I'm just going to leave because you've taken down half my team. I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this. I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this life. Oh, man, I wonder what I even have. Do I have any of the abilities? Ugh. I don't have the super jump. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes. Heal me, please. Thank you for the ingredients. I appreciate that a lot. 
Mas apreciando. I would like a breather. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Gonna need my quick balls back. I did. I got a very good rest. Thank you for asking. Uh, let's see. Is that a... Oh, a Charcadet. I was about to say, is that a Gimme Ghoul in the center of him? And I was about to be like, serious? That's bizarre. All right. So I guess I must have been headed this way. Whoa, Tauros. Calm it down, bro. Yeah, we got my pack leader there. That's a pretty good pack leader. Good boy's got us on lock. I wonder what sandwiches I have available. Get away from me, Tauros. I didn't ask you. Ooh, maybe I'll do the puppy dog. I've never trained the puppy dog. Oh, and I love him so much. Taurus just wants to love you. He does. What's up, bats? 17 months, my dude. Thank you so much. You are the best. Let me know how hard you want to spin the sub wheel clockwise or counterclockwise. We'll make it happen for you. Dude, I would love Mastiff. No crit. No crit, please. Thank you. That Tauros has got to leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Oh, good. I got Ultra Balls. Get in the ball, Mastiff. Thank you. Clockwise, 90%. Yeah! Nice. Clockwise, 90%. Here we go. <laughs> These are all starting to turn into very much the same thing. Let's see. Its well-developed jaws and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders, and its thick fur fat makes for an excellent defense. Same, bro. Same, bro. All right, you got a free Gachapon. Free Gachapon. Just a voltage in diffusers and kill off the Gachapon. Ooh, you got the rare double dice. Was it loud? <laughs> I can turn it off. I can turn it down a little bit. All right. You got the rare double dice, which is a die inside of a die. So you have a chance of getting double odds. Um, what I do is I roll the inside one a good bunch, and then I roll the other one. If you do a nat crit, so if you get... A six, one six, two six, whatever. You get to pick a game for us. If I get a nat fail, so if you get a nat fail, a one on either dice, then I get to pick a game for a bonus stream that may or may not ever happen. Ooh, a six. We got one six, one four. One six, one four for you, Bat. So you get to pick a game for me to play mm. on a bonus stream, my friend. Let me know what you'd like to see for a bonus stream. Look into the games. Perfect. I'll just put you down for a bonus. Any bonus. Random bonus game. I mean, if you wanted me to play this, like, random indie game called Pokemon Violet for an extra day, I would. Uh, all right. What are we naming Mastiff? What's Mastiff's name, everybody? He's the best boy. He's the best puppy dog. We're going to drink plenty of water for our blood pressure today, friends. Plenty of water. Hmm. <laughs> Not seeing anything in the chat. So I'm going to name this good boy. Uh, uh. Super rando game called Pokemans. Yeah, nobody's ever heard of it. Um, what was the name of the the one Mastiff? It was Beethoven. So what's another? Just Ludwig? No, I'm not naming it after Ludwig, because uh, then that people are gonna people are gonna get confused. People are gonna get confused. What about Chopin? Chopin beef hu beef oven. I like Chopin. I already came up with Chopin, and I'm real happy that his name is Chopin. So we're naming him Chopin. Chopin, I want you to my party, buddy. Uh, let's see, who should I trade you out for? Ooh. Ooh, 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 any of all of them. Babetoven is also very nice. Very good pun. Let's let's put it in place of Nakachu. Welcome to the team, Chopin. I love it. 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 I love it
love them. Ah! They were so close to me. Okay. You weren't quick enough. You gotta be patient in it. That guy could commercial. I do have five shinies, folks. Five shinies officially. Not in this playthrough, but in my personal. Is he a sleeping boy? Oh, no, he just got drowned. So keep an eye out for more shinies, because they do just pop up in the overworld. Well, that's all the damage it did? Holy moly. I've had pretty good luck with him. Man, I'm doing no damage. I guess he has a level 26. I feel like I might be in the wrong area. <laughs> I feel like I maybe shouldn't be here. Should I not be here? My brothers caught me two shinies and traded me both the absolute legend. That is a legend move. I'm in a bit of a sticky wicket again. I keep getting in these sticky wickets. I haven't seen a shiny, not sure how to spot them. I thought the crystal guys were them, but so wrong. Yeah, no, not the Terrasta ones. Uh, some of them are real obvious, and other ones are not very obvious at all. It's not as good as Arceus for shiny hunting. Um, the odds are just as good. The uh, the actual spotting them is what's tricky. They're real hard to they're real hard to find if you don't know what you're looking for. Oink alone here is a is a very easy one to spot. It really doesn't get much easier than Oink alone. Ooh boy, do I have a flying type? Do I have anything that flies? Does anyone fly here? Oh boy. It'll affect you the least. Still gonna... What? I thought he was ground type. Is he not ground type? Sorry, Wooper. Sorry, Wooper. Alright. Oh, he's level 14. What was I thinking? This is not going swell. Not going swimmingly at all. Yikes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm, I think I might be under level for where I'm at. I just kind of came in here out of nowhere. And I think I might just be the slightest bit under level. If he uses headbutt, I'm done. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> there's simply, there's simply no way. Uh, I mean, at this point, we might as well catch it. Let's test our odds. Test your might. We'll probably just release him, but better than dying. Better than dying with the critical catch. So yeah, Oink Alone is one that's pretty easy to spot because it is bright pink as opposed to its its normal world model, which is very much not bright pink. Welcome to Squad Oink Alone. My favorite thing was when I traded a newly hatched starters with my brother, one fight at level 30, and he evolved it from the residual experience. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Further you get in, Stronger and stronger the pocket man's get. Uh-oh. What is Mr. Coscarafa doing here? Walton Blues are where in the world? You little flowers are getting scattered by the sea breeze. Feel fierce, but you don't care. What strong, pretty little flowers. Where, where in the world can I find more like you? Tee hee. Oh, shoot, I need to get down to the market. I guess that's what I'm doing. Have you done any Pokemon breeding yet? It's way easier than it used to be. It sure is. It sure is. It's incredibly easy. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, now I know what I'm doing. I'm going to go back up here and heal. Take down this little kid over here. Right, where was that picnic guy? Hello, picnic fellow. Uh, yes, I have done a lot of breeding. I plan on doing some uh, shiny breeding. But first, I've got to um, gotta get the shiny charm. And I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm so close. I think I have like 396 out of 400 Pokemons. So close. So very, very close. We're going to get there. Okay. Thank you. 
Now I gotta figure out what in the world I'm doing. How am I gonna grind? Because clearly I need to get some grinding done. I can always try some Let's Go, but that doesn't really mean he's dearling. That would get something for us. Hey, buddy, go murder a bunch of deer. Would you mind? Would you mind, buddy, just going and just eliminating a whole herd for me? No big deal. Should be fine. Thank you, buddy. Great job. Really, really stellar work. Stellar work. You've outdone yourself. Let's see if we can find another one. Another patch anywhere. We learned that we're not strong enough for giraffe. Guarantee you we're not strong enough for Cyclozar. Arm. Just find ourselves another little herd. There's one. They're great little experience boosters. Not the best experience boosters, but they are they're, they're worth something. We're gonna take our hat off then. Oh, nope, wrong one. Did he come back to me? Did those little boys take him down? Purple air. Oh, you know what? Actually, I also want to change. Did you come back to me, really? Go back out there. Oh, I see. You're coming back to me because I'm changing outfits. Okay, I kind of like the um, winter or the autumn, personally. Winter's probably my favorite because I don't like seeing our legs. So I think I'm going to probably stick with that one. Our legs kind of gross me out. Everything is worth something. That's right. This is a step in the right direction. Figured out the bonus stream game. An airport for aliens currently run by dogs. That is a game I have never heard of in my entire life, and I'm curious. Come back to me. Don't you try to take down that giraffe on your own. I need to write down that whole title. That was a ditto? Aw, oh, I didn't mean to take down a ditto. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie dupsie. I guess I am outside, um... I am outside Valencia, aren't I? Whoopsie dupsie. All right, an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Open world comedy adventure game. Talk to stock photo dogs, solve their problems, catch your flight, and call it dog airport game when you get tired of saying the full title like I did three months ago. I love it. How is it not nighttime yet? Can we talk about that? Well, I gotta find another ditto. I forgot about ditto. I could go ahead and get a Masuda ditto this early on in the game. And I can show you guys how to get a Masuda ditto. For those of you that don't know how to get one, I can teach you. Let me make sure that none of these are ditto. Had it on my wish list for ages. I'll absolutely play it. I love it. it sounds hilarious. Am I going to be able to take down Kofu with my, uh... Oh, you're a real one. With my team right now? He might be a little tough for us. Oh. Do I have a Starly? This might be a ditto. Oh, nope. Real Staravia. Okay. It's real. It's a real one. Okay. Definitely thought it was fake. At least now I have Staravia registered, so that won't happen again.
Gotta be another ditto out here somewhere. Come back here, buddy. Mastiff. Uh oh, stay away from Mastiff. I didn't mean to look at you. It was an accident. It was an accident. I didn't mean to look at you. It was a, it was a total, total accident. I would never look at you. No! <laughs> I didn't want this, Giraffe Rig! No! No! I don't want to play with you! I don't want to play! No! Ooh, me now. And it's a real one. Let's catch it. Why not? We gotta get all the pocket mans eventually, right? Is that my health going down? Hey, yo, buddy, can we talk about how quickly we're dying? Am I just used to my overpowered Pokemon? Yeah! Alright, what's Meowth's name? Any names in the chat for my buddy here? My good new buddy? My bud new goody? Alright. It loves things that sparkle. When it sees a shiny object, the gold coin on its head shines too. Was that better? Was that better, Chovy? Was it a better volume? Let's see, first one I saw was Scrumples. Bye, Meowth. Nice knowing you. Maybe I'll let you out again eventually. I really need to go heal. But I also really want a ditto. Because it would be nice to teach you guys about the trade codes. If you've not heard of the trade codes, you need to know. It is the way to get pocket mans that you can't get. I'll find the full image whenever I find a ditto. But oh, come here, come here. Level twenty-nine too, man. That's toughy. Good news is he's turning into my fire boy. I'm gonna turn into my fire boy, which means Wiglet should be max damage. Ooh, I'll take that too. Don't crit. Don't you crit. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a Masuda Ditto. Probably. It's fine. It's fine. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. One Ultra Ball? Come on. One Ultra Ball for a Ditto? Easy. Nice! We love a crit capture. Alright. Ditto's name does not matter because we're going to be trading him almost immediately. So Austin John Plays has put together a list of trade codes for region exclusives. And I'm going to show you guys what those are right now. Let me pull them up. Pokemon trade codes. All right, I'm going to drop some links in the chat. Whoa, that's a crazy link. Maybe not. <laughs> Tell you what I'll do instead. Uh, I will I'll drop a link to the tweet. And you guys can go give uh, Austin John some love on his tweet. Is 
So if you'll check out that tweet, it's got all the trade codes in there. Wait, no, that's Brilliant Diamond. Oh, that's really funny. Not that one. <laughs> right guy. Right guy, wrong tweet. Well, I guess if any of you are still playing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, that's those codes. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. There we go. Now I got the right tweet. All right, this tweet is the right tweet. That tweet will have the images for you to download and save at your own convenience. Nice. Oh, already? Chopin? Okay, buddy. Chopin ain't playing games. He's already a good boy. Mabostiff, I love him so much. I would die for Mabostiff, and I don't think you guys understand. Mabostiff loves playing with children. Though usually gentle, it takes on an intimidating look when protecting its family. Okay. Masudo method time. So you're going to want to go to the online trading system. Ooh, come up. I've never... Okay, sure. I've never used Mabostiff, so I really don't know any of his moves. We've got a zero power, 100 accuracy. The user retaliates with much greater force against the opponent that last inflicted damage. Sure, we'll learn that instead of roar. I'm not normally a dark type trainer, but... We'll make it work. Okay. First, you're going to go online. Connect to the internet. Once you connect to the internet, you're going to go to the Poke Portal. Once you go to the Poke Portal, you're going to go to Link Trade. And you're going to put in the link code for your particular Pokemon that you want to make happen. So let me pull up those codes again. Or rather, I'll just I'll launch the image. For instance, let's say that we want to do a Masuda Ditto. Because we do. There we go. There is the image for the starters in the Masuda Ditto that I, I linked you. There's also all the others exclusives in a separate image. But you can see... Right, we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 4. That would be your code if you want to trade Sprigatito and Fuecoco. If you want to trade uh, Sprigatito and Quaxley, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 7. We want a Masuda Ditto. We want a language Ditto swap down there at the bottom. So our code is going to be 4448-4448. Okay, so we've done that. We've put in the code. We've done the thing that we want to do. And then we're going to go and start searching. So, yes, we're going to search. There are mm, hundreds of thousands, if not a million other people, that are out there looking for a Masuda Ditto. And so all we have to do is trade a Ditto with a person of another country. I don't know where this person is from. They might have just canceled on me because they saw that I was American. Yeah, so if you find an English Ditto, you find an English Ditto. you got to keep looking. That's just kind of the name of the game. You keep trying. I wish I could see the names, but the chat box is in the way. So I might have to, Uno, I want to delete that. I'm going to turn off the chat box for just a second so that I can see. I didn't see. I thought the last person looked like their name started with a C. Not Vera. Vera, are you from the U.S.? I don't know. I can't see your ditto. Well, I can't tell. Oh, it's English. Okay, so yeah. See, there you go. It's English. Not worth it. Get out of the trap. And then get back in. Easy D peasy D. Just keep going in until you get lucky. What's up, Stained? How we doing? Now, it's very possible that everybody uh, in the U.S. may be playing this game right now. And there are many people globally that are playing. Zolive 93. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. English. Goodbye, Zolive. Next one. I'm decent. I feel the same way, Stained. I'm, I'm doing all right. I am surviving. And we keep looking. Eventually, you will find a Masuda Ditto. 
And if you do the other trade codes, eventually you'll find the Pokemon that you're looking for. The one that has taken me the longest is is uh, a Pokemon that I'm not going to spoil, but it's one of the post-game. Okay, well, this is most certainly a Masuda Ditto. Right? I mean, their name is pretty clear, clearly some kind of character uh, that is not the, uh, the standard alphabet. There we go. We got ourselves a Masuda Ditto. There we go. It took, what, four tries? Four tries, we got ourselves a Masuda Ditto. Now, if you don't know what a Masuda Ditto means, a Masuda Ditto is a ditto from a different language. Ditto breeds with any pocket man. And so uh, regardless of who I put into the breeding scenario, if I put Ditto with it and I put the other Pokemon with it, uh, the shiny odds will drastically increase from one out of 4,096 to three out of 2,048. Is he English? Did he trade me for an English Ditto? It definitely, he definitely had foreign characters. But I'm a little bit worried he may have just traded me. Another English Ditto. That's very funny. Again we go. We keep going until we get it. Why? Why would he have such a, what, such a foreign name? And then not actually be foreign. Or did he back out? Or did I back out? Did something go wrong? What happened? I was so busy talking. So excited about the Masuda method. But anyway, those odds obviously are drastically better, right? One out of 4,096. Aaron, there ain't no way. Aaron, there ain't no way. Where are you from, Aaron? Of course you are. Nobody's named Aaron, all right? I was supposed to win on, but you know, win one, but you know, fate doesn't like me. Oh, I see. Pokemon Scarlet. I just had a combo with my wife about getting Sonic Frontiers Pokemon Scarlet for our boys on Christmas. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. All right, Lucy. I got a feeling about Lucy. Lucy, I got a feeling. Yep. Sorry, Luce. We keep looking. So anyway, I'll keep telling you about Masuda Ditto. Uh, you're going to want a Masuda Ditto if you're going to want to plan a breed for Shinies. And I'll be happy to put together a breeding guide if you guys are interested in learning more about that later on. No! Wrong! Incorrect, sir. Why are you clipping that? Why are you clipping that? Why are you clipping that? You're making me nervous. Are you taking things out of context? I'm worried you might be. All right, we got more foreign characters. Come on. No! No! Why are you doing this? <laughs> I think people are trolling, dude. I'll make a breeding guide if anyone wants that. I had a feeling. Pokemon breeding guide. I guess I need to be very clear. Very clear about the pocket manness of it all. Well, this is not a great example for the Masuda method. Without spoiling anything, is the bullying stuff with Team Star at all problematic for an eight year old? A friend is asking. I'll read your full question in just a second. Hang on. I think they're going to back out on me. A friend is asking if Pokemon Scarlet Valley would be appropriate for their kid. The bullying was the only thing that came to mind, and I'm not all the way through that storyline yet. I cannot imagine. Um, let's all not forget that the very first Pokemon game, we stopped a mob boss. We actually stopped the Yakuza. Uh, so, you know. No, I don't want Serena. I mean, that's very kind of you, but no, I want a Ditto. No. No, I want a Ditto. You're German, too. You're German! You could have given me a German ditto! Why would you do this to me? Why? No, I can't imagine it being problematic at all. I'm about to go give myself my own Masuda ditto. Yes, France! France! Please don't back out on me, France. France! Why would you do this to me, Azamoon? Why would you do it? <laughs> Crap.
Crawl! Crawl! Why? Do you hate me, Azamoon? Why would you do this to me? How are we ever going to get our Masuda Ditto like this? I might just have to try it another time of day. Although somebody from France was on here. Turtle. Turtle, where are you from? English! Turtle! Why did Azamoon do that? I think people are trolling. So this is a good example of how the trade codes sometimes work very well and sometimes it takes a little longer. Sometimes you get lucky and get on the first try. Sometimes it takes a little longer. I've, I've, I've not had one take as long as a post-game trade. And I've not had one take as long, actually, as the... Um... They're backing out on me. <sighs> They're backing out. Don't do this, Fatal. Just give me a foreign ditto. No. No, Fatal. No, Fatal. I need a foreign ditto. Uh, Quaxley. Quaxley and then one of the post-game Pokemon have given me the most trouble. To the point that I got a Quaxley, but I still have not gotten the, the post-game Pokemon. I have no idea how I'm going to get it. Nobody wants to trade it. It's so good. Come on, Shaq. I swear these people are trolling. I swear they're trolling. They must be. At least that name wasn't Kanji. We keep going. This is the this is the invigorating content you guys are here for. This is the excitement. Y'all about to make me lose my mind. Again, it's very possible I just have to do this another time today. I mean, I would say right now is a pretty popular time in the States. To play this game. John, John, buddy. No, do not trade it. Up in here, up in here. Indeed. We'll do three more. Three more tries. Three more tries. Otherwise, I'll just have to get it at home and bring it here. See if the ultimatum works. Bye, Max. Dos mas. Dos mas. It ain't worth it yet because, I mean, I don't even have a shiny charm, so it's not like we need a Masuda. I kind of just wanted to show you guys how it works. But it's not working. <laughs> no, it is. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. We're just at the wrong time. I mean, think about the fact that we're not having to wait very long at all to find trade partners, right? It's just that a lot of people are wanting to trade in English Ditto right now. Come on, Kenzo. Your name is not Kenzo. Your name is Bailey. All right, last one. Last one. If we don't get it this time, we're going to move on. We've got too many other important things to do. Gabriel, I got a feeling about you, Gabe. Just got a feeling. Yep. All right. No Masuda Ditto today, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, wait. I do want to get it off on this. The good news is, is now we have Chopin, who's already level 30. We're sitting pretty with some of the mods we have. We don't really have anybody strong enough to take down Kofu yet. Definitely got to do some more grinding. Yeah. 
Oh, good. I do have my boost. Okay, cool. Can I help you? I don't know. Can I? Courier time. I wonder what level his mana. Okay. Maybe we're not maybe we're not as underleveled as I thought. I thought we must have been crazy underleveled considering the fact that we're the wild Pokemon are so strong. Hey, it's nighttime! <gasps> it's nighttime! Oh, good point, good point, good point, good point. I am gonna do the nighttime thing that I need to do now. I should have just stayed in the trading menu. Zando saves the day. Alright. Portal. Oh, hey, what's up, God Games and Geekery? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate ya. I was teaching people how to Masuda method, but that didn't work. Alright. Make sure we got the same codes going on. Yep. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a Weavile. AKA Bad Gamer Elite. Got you, got you, got you. Very cool. Well, welcome in. How are we doing? How are you feeling? How's your Monday? Starting off the week strong, I hope. All right, Weavile. Do, 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 do. Gotta find it. One thing, literally the first thing I hope they do whenever they patch this game is I desperately hope they make things load faster. Because I'm telling you, nothing is worse in this game. Oh no! Do you still have Weavile, buddy? Where is Weavile? I'll find it. It was hiding. Trade that bad boy for so many meetings. Oh no! For scrumples. Goodbye, scrumples. We'll see you soon. I'm so tempted to give myself somebody really strong. So tempted. Just to give us a clearer. Facebook just reminded me I caught my first sun and moon shiny on this day six years ago. It was an Alolan Raticate. Ooh, that's a cool shiny. We'll see who our first shiny is in Violet. Oh no. Why didn't it do it? Why did it not do it? It's nighttime! It's night time! What is the deal with, with Sneasel? Why are they making this so hard on me? Holding a razor claw at night. Right? Am I crazy? Leveled up. Oh my gosh, it's not even a trade scenario. What a moron. Oh my goodness, what a doofy guy. What a doofy fellow I am. I could have sworn it was trading. All right, well, who do I want to give myself? That is now the question. Also, how do I clear a search? Who would be fun to have in this game? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, 
I could just go ahead and give myself armor rouge. Okay, got a meeting coming up, so I'm going to leave a lurk. Thanks for the lurk, God Games and Geekery. Appreciate you. I didn't really consider it, but I could just go ahead and give myself armor rouge. That'd be kind of nice. Or Lucario. No, I'm going to use Nimbus, though. But I'm also using Good Boy. Ah, the decisions! It's awful. How do we make any choices? I need to get myself someone. I deserve someone fun. I could always give myself Gengar. I do love my best boy. And I don't have a ghost type. Let's do it. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. You know what I'm going to do? I'll save it. Memory for it. Feel free to call me Lim. Proverbs 31. One Lim. Got you, Lim. I'll try my best. I will do all I can to remember. So now I just got to wait for it to be nighttime. All right. I'm giving myself a Gengar. Be a great addition to the team. All in all, a very successful trading session. Very successful. Except for me to being a dummy. So that means, let me see, I wonder if it's daytime. I wonder if it's nighttime in my own personal game. It do be night. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a Weavile. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so distractible. That is the thing about this game. I don't know if you if you guys have experienced this as well. I am so distractible playing this game. I will start doing something and then very quickly find myself doing something else. Oh, I also am going to be getting an Umbreon. You guys want to see me get an Umbreon and a, and a Weavile? Or am I just doing this off camera? What the heck? Why not? Why not? Hang on. Let's save. I don't know if removing and docking and undocking. This game is pretty broken, so. Nice, dude. My boy! And then I can show you guys my shinies. And we'll come back to our playthrough. And I'll try my best not to spoil anything. That'll be my goal. My goal will be to spoil no things. I certainly do not want to spoil any of the things. For those of you that have not had the opportunity to experience this game yet. Oh man, that didn't charge at all, huh? That's a bummer. What's up, Kuro? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. We're just gonna we're gonna uh, get ourselves some pocket mans real quick. Oh, you're kidding. They're gonna make me do it like this. No. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. All right, we're gonna go and get ourselves some pocket mans. So we're gonna get ourselves a Weavile. I think I'm gonna work on the ruinous Pokemon shrines. I just finished them up today. Finished up this morning before work. I am truly almost done. The only thing I have left to do is uh, legendary, the ultimate legendary. The legendary for all legendaries. I gotta trade a trade a Coridon for a Maridon. And then the other the other uh, end game Pokemon that I'm not talking about. Good job, Weavile. Evolution made it even more devious. It communicates by clawing signs and boulders. Cool. Long day so far. I hear you there. I hear you there. Ooh, ooh. Any spoilers? Okay, good. No spoilers. All right. And an Umbreon. Get that dex full, baby. Okay. 
Congratulations. I do not want to learn any moves. All right. Cool. Well, now I'm gonna now I'll show you guys my shinies. Show you what I got so far. We'll take them take them on a little picnic. Uh oh. Okay. Oops. Okay, you may have seen one spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> you may have seen one quick spoiler there for just a second. It was an accident. All of these shinies, by the way, have been completely unintentional. They've been absolute accidents. I did not mean to catch them. Or I know I did mean to catch them, but I didn't mean to find them. I wasn't looking for them. They just stumbled into my lap. They were just out wandering the world. Reporting to Twitch for spoilers. Expect the police soon. No! Anything but the police. Oh, why? Why not? Hmm? Why can't I host a picnic here? Hmm? It's very weird playing with uh, Joy-Cons like this. Whoops. A real world ride on. Still got to trade for ride on, and then I'll be done. Then I'll be done. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. Get that shiny charm. Get that shiny charm and call it a day. All right, let's look at all these shinies. Look at them, my beautiful children. Look at my children, my child, my children. We got my yellow Shinx boy there. No, you're not at the end of the stream. We're just getting started. Just getting started. My green Chansey. My green Go Goat. My pink Oinkalone. And where'd Small go? There he is. He's so small. And there's my little small boy with the purple olive on top. Look at him. He's the best. There you go. These are my shiny boys. They're all very sweet and kind and cute, and I did not mean to get any of them. They're all my accidents. You're all accidents, children. Every single one of you. I didn't mean for you to happen, but here you are. You did appear. I'm definitely going to be making you into a shiny Luxray. Don't worry. So, anticipate that. All right, there you go. No spoilers. No spoilers. Didn't spoil anything. Managed to not spoil anything. Despite my best attempts. Now we're going to save. Now we're going to absolutely save because now I have nearly a complete Pokedex. Uh oh, why'd that not turn on? We're probably fine. We're probably fine. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It's coming. <laughs> Made me a little nervous. Made me a little nervous there, Pokemon Violet. Okay. We got it. Okay. I managed to not spoil anything. Nobody exploded. We're all good. All right. Gengar, we're going to trade you in for my buddy uh, Flintstone? Squishy? Hmm. Squishy. Trade you in for Squishy. I don't know, though, because Squishy also knows mud attacks. Yeah, sorry, Flintstone, you're gone. Sorry, buddy. Just don't really need a poison type. Nobody really needs a poison type, you know. It's not a necessity for any of us. Okay, now we probably need to go grind some more. I'm worried we're just too weak. Oh, I need to fight you, too? I am neither spoiled nor exploded. Perfect! My plan worked. That was my ultimate goal today, was to ensure that no one was spoiled or exploded, and I succeeded on both counts. We seem to guess. Bye-bye. Nice. Probably should start looking at moves. We'll probably get into that point, but we'll be all right. 
This is my first time seeing gameplay of this generation of Pokemon. Very interesting. I love it. I'm a big fan, Kuro. People are knocking on this game for its graphic fidelity a whole lot. They're knocking on it a whole lot. But I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I cannot stop playing. I have logged so many hours into this silly game. It is ridiculous. I think it is so enjoyable. My biggest complaint about the game so far is that it doesn't have enough Pokemans in it. They cut the decks back a little too far. I think 400 is a pretty small roster. It's a fantastic game. It has some stutters that, in my opinion, are non-distracting. Now, that is my opinion because most people do not agree with me. It has not affected my gameplay experience even a little bit. Oopsie. Didn't even see you guys there. That might be another complaint. Some of the Pokemons are a little small. Aw, oh, come on, Murkrow. Just let me go. Don't bully me, buddy. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Thank you. It means a lot that you let me away. I'm used to that on Switch titles. Yeah, it's, it is it is definitely one of the worst. But man, I just enjoy it so much. I will say, just having played both of them, I do think, weirdly, Scarlet runs better. Although that could be because I'm playing Undocked. Maybe it's the Docked versus Undocked situation. But I am completely and utterly capable of tuning it out. It is not distracting. It is not game breaking. Well, it would be the opposite. Doc does a lot for performance, but I'm saying that it is the polar opposite. Of it. I'm saying that the doc is actually hurting the experience. Which doesn't make sense. I understand how that sounds antithetical, but that is what I am experiencing. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Like, I've been playing handheld at home, and I feel like my experience has been better than my docked experience frame rate wise. When I streamed Pokemon last week, I thought the game's ran significantly worse on the dock than handheld. Yeah, well, there you go. I wonder if it's trying to push it. I'm excited to have you in my party, Nimble. I'll have you soon, buddy. Should I go down there? Ah, Flaffy! You were just there, man. No, I ain't even gonna try. I ain't even gonna try on you, Flaffy. <gasps> can I take down a Chansey right now? Do I have anyone that can take down a Chansey? There's no way, right? I don't have anybody capable of taking down a Chansey. Oh, that's so much EXP. We gotta try. I mean, we gotta try. What? What? Bogus! I caught up to her! I caught up to her before she ran away. Oh, that's some nonsense right there. I still have only had one glitch actually be a detriment to my experience. I came out of battle and got stuck in scaffolding and couldn't get out. Luckily, there was a Pokemon in range. I was able to start another battle to escape. I've had it crash on me precisely one time, and that's it. That's been my experience. I think, uh, I genuinely think IGN is uh, absolutely dead wrong. Dead wrong. IGN gave this game a 6 out of 10, and they're crazy. This game is a 9 out of 10. At worst, if you include the graphic fidelity, I will give you an 8 out of 10 if you're just a real purist. And I better never catch you playing an indie game because you can't handle anything less than a AAA title. This game is the best Pokemon story we've maybe gotten ever. It's definitely my favorite Pokemon story. It is one of the best Pokemon experiences. It's not as good as Arceus, but I really, really, really liked Arceus. But I will say the story is better than Arceus. Give me out of this fight. I'm doing Let's Go right now. 
They made, they took, they kept all the things that I love. They took away all the things that I don't. With the exception being the ability to catch Pokemon freehand, like an Arceus. That was that was the thing that made Arceus so good for me. And this game doesn't have that, and that is a bummer. But literally every other way, they took what worked. Really like this game so far. If you remember during the trailers, I was real worried I wouldn't. Yep, I do remember that. I was never worried about liking this game. I have some visual annoyances, but it's not enough to make me dislike the game. Ooh, is that a... No, it's not, is it? Is that the water Taurus? I'm trying to look at his horns. Ah, get away from me! No, I don't think any of them are the water Taurus. Okay. Another day, then. No, Tauros! You love the fighting type, Tauros? Have you gotten the fire uh, fire one? You gotta get you the leader of the pack, my dude. Even stronger. The what now? So, the Tauros in this game also have regional exclusives. Depending on Violet and Scarlet. Scarlet has the Tauros fire. And Violet has the Tauros water. You will know because they have some slight discoloration in their in their mane. Their horns are bigger and they have a spinning tail. I'll see if I can find one. I doubt it. It's gonna be pretty pretty tough. You're doing great, good boy. You're doing really, really good. You just take down that Tauros? Good boy, you're getting too strong. You're too strong for all these, all these plebeians. I may better check my trainer level. Do you ever unlock more outfits or do you just get the four seasonal school outfits? Just the seasonals. Just the seasonals, I'm afraid. Whoa, 30. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, we gotta go take down Kofu. Okay, we're taking down Goku. Definitely, definitely, definitely did not notice that. The, 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 the definitely, definitely did not. Definitely did not. Get out of my way. Taking down Goku. Goku with a beard. Man, I'm 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 just now getting back to Violet after like a week of playing it. And for real though, for real though. You guys are cuckoo bananas if you think that Coridon is cooler than Maridon. He looks so cool. He looks so cool flying down the road. Look at him. Look at those wheels spinning, man. That is so rad. I need H-Man here to disagree with me because I'm telling you, I think he is the coolest looking Pokemon. I'm obsessed with him. I don't know if you can trade out your, your riding Pokemon, depending on your version, but dude, I want him as my riding Pokemon. All right, where is the Pokemon Center? Is there not? A, is it really all the way up the hill? Is it really all the way up the hill? There's not one down here for realsies. Okay, back up we go. I mean, it is undeniable that the background figures are chunky. However, they are also some of the best designs that I think we've ever seen. I really do. I genuinely mean that whenever I say this is the best designed. Pokemon we've ever we've ever seen. Graphically, maybe not. But like aesthetically, world wise, world building, NPCs, uh, trainers, uh, Pokemon generation, the new ones they brought in, the building style, the three stories. I mean, it is genuinely the best designed Pocket Man experience that we've gotten. In that way, I think it is better than Arceus. I think Arceus petered out faster. I was just obsessed with Arceus. But I can understand how the general person may not have been. I'm real worried we're not going to be able to beat. I mean, we got a fire type. I mean, Smoil is really our best bet here. Mm. 
Arcus had that dang built-in tutorial that really slowed my pace. That's what killed it for me. Yeah, and as soon as you were done with the tutorial, you'd really played most of the game. So again, I totally get how that was really mostly just my... I just really enjoyed the gameplay. And if you enjoyed the gameplay of Arceus, then you were set. Because there was so much gameplay. I know Parish Song? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. I really enjoyed watching you play. It made me wish I was past all the tutorials so I could enjoy it too. I just couldn't get through it. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was a really it was just a good time for me. Oh, any other dark type dark type moves? I'll take Confuse Ray over Payback. Yeah. Which seems weird, given that I made it all the way through FF14's A Realm Reborn quest line. The tutorial was really long. Yeah, talk about a slow grind. Now that one I've not played. So we're just going to try our best here. We are just going to try our best, but I really do not have a good feeling about this. I do not have a good feeling about this. Vote and lose of where, where in the world? Well, that's not his voice, is it? He was like a, a, log, a foghorn leghorn. Ooh. Well, I say, where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll just get bought up by someone else. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. No need. No need. Purple check is here. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important gradient buying. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stab you. So, do you have something super important to say to us busy folks, or what? Yeah, this is super important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a band will shut your mouth. Yeah, his hair is real nice. All the characters' designs I like so much. Rika, dude? Rika, man. Are you kidding me? I'm terrified of her. And also infatuated. Not sure if you're able to watch the VOD of when I filled in for you last week, but I made sure to keep the voice you gave Arvin when I played. Oh, it's a great voice. <laughs> a classic. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's just hope for the best here. Yikes! No! <laughs> yeah, this ain't gonna do. Uh, oh, boy. Come on, Chopin. I was worried. I was worried that was going to be the case. Maybe we should have been grinding Smoil the whole time. Mm, I don't remember what Comeuppance does. Let's try it. Why is it named Chopin? Does it play piano? Uh, it is named Chopin because the famous uh, dog is named Beethoven. And so I thought of another one. I liked that it was named... I liked that that one's name was Beethoven, so I thought I'd name mine Chopin. Goodbye! Right, at least we have that sweet, sweet expo. Launcher? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm in a bad spot. We might just have to sing him a song. I will sing you the song of my people. Dude, I'm so ready for more of Arvin's storyline. Arvin's storyline is my personal favorite of all of them. They're all really good. They're all really good, but Arvin, Arvin has a special place. Goodbye, Clauncher. There's always a chance. Have I been saying Chopin wrong my whole life? I'm feeling crazy. Yeah, it is. That is indeed how you say it. <laughs> you want to really have your mind blown? Do you know the anime character? 
that has the uh, the slicked back hair that looks like L U P I N, which people that are from our particular neck of the woods would Chopin. Yeah, I say Chopin. It could. I mean, that's fair. I'm sure that is a dialect, uh, but that is also Lupin. And I've always said Lupin the Third. Always said Lupin the Third. No, no, Lupin. And that's probably why I say Chopin. Chopin is because I say Lupin. Lupin. Pon is the is the word that gets me there. You probably answered this, but I'm sad to say I don't remember your answer. What Pokemon type are you a sucker for? Ooh, type. Mm. Type. Gosh, type is really tricky. I mean, I like ghost type. I always choose the grass type starter. I know that you love your fighting types. There's no doubt about that. Man, that's a tricky question. I don't know. I kind of like all. I more fall for uh, Pokemon than I do for types. Like, I like certain ones more than others. Speaking of which, for real, though, for real, Tandem Mouse is my favorite Pokemon in this game. Smoyo! Oh, look at you, buddy. Oh, let's see you grow. Oh, look. They're sweet. Dolive. Their third evolution is real cool, by the way. I like it a lot. I actually like Smoliv's entire line. Chopin, if French. Chopin, if Polish. Oh, interesting. Man, I'll give any Pokemon a shot if it says fighting. Case in point, Quaxley. Well, that's why Tauros is so cool for you, right? Hey, you'll step right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about over here. Oh, old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. No, I don't have something to say. I have something to give you. What's that now? A customer here for a little old wallet as money as me. What can I do for you? I have your wallet. You return Kofu's wallet to him. Vault and Velooza, my wallet. Say what now? I'm a lot of staff sent you out here to bring it to me. <laughs> That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize to my little apprentice. Who? I uh, hope it didn't bother you too much. There's some here at the Porto Man, not a auction that we really got to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were built a bit worked up, but I uh, forgot more. Like. Ladies and gentlemen, or ladies, lady. Oh, wait, we have the perfect button. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Huh? Why is that guy's mustache above his eyebrows? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty bonkers. Oh, back to the voice. Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here a whole. I, I have here a legendary Wakame seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Vault and Volusa. I ain't even have to touch it. I can see it's a springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look at how it gets the light and shine so brilliantly. All on that rich fresh aroma of something blocked straight out of the ocean. I need to give me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Cascroft Gym, you need to get some smarts. This is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Okay. <laughs> you already know the ins and outs of the auction at such a young age. You're something else, kid. Here y'all. Fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it. Win this old man at seaweed. Let's make it happen. 50 grand, old man. <laughs> I'm going to walk with this 50 grand. All right, I remember what I did last time, but I wonder if it's the best option. Hoenn's Legendary Wakame Seaweed. We'll start the bid in the 10 grand. I think I started at the 10, and then I went up with the next one. We have 15 grand to AM all. We're currently at 10 grand. 15, 25. We have 25, 25, do we have more? And then I think I went for 35, and then I kept the 15. Sounds right. What a big spender. What in the world? Yeah. Now I get to keep 15 grand. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. I wonder if there's a better way. That was amazing. You've been putting those going on a bit as a plane with the Ben skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'm taking it now if you don't mind. More to me. This seaweed is a great catch. I'll be feeling low on a seabed if I fail to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. All righty, I'm going to head back to the Cosscroft Gym now. Old man Kofu's going to prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Okay. Bye. Bye, old man. I haven't done much of the of the auctioning. I've heard you can get some really cool stuff there, but uh, 
I mean, I'm not IV training yet, so I don't really need it. But yeah, all this is where you can get a bunch of cool IV training stuff. And whenever you inevitably catch a Rotom, you'll be able to get all the Rotom forms here. So, All the more. The more you know. Got about, oopsie. I got about 50 great balls for under 10 grand. I wouldn't even know how much. I definitely saw legs in the air. And it made me very concerned. Okay. I saw somebody tweet out, I think it was Alpha Rad. That was like, uh, the best part about Pokemon is that the game is really, really good. And the glitches are really, really funny. So it's just a win-win experience. And I think that sums up my experience as well. All the glitches that I've gotten aren't distracting. They're hilarious. Like legs floating in the air. That sounds like a really great deal. Because it'd be 600 for, for, for each, right? So what would that be? 60? No. 30 grand? So you got 20 grand off? Oh, that is, that's another one that I still have to evolve, actually. I, haven't, I have not evolved my Gimme Ghoul yet. I still got to find my 999 coins. It's so many coins! It's so many coins! Hey, check. Oh, what is it? Apparently, this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on, and oh, it make me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm just going to sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Tried to clip the legs in the air, but I think it was just an optical collision with the streetlights. Oh, was it? I don't really want to go through the desert, but I guess I am. Gotta get those sweet, sweet items. Come here! Come here. Oh, I do love Bramblin. I love Bramblin. Come here, buddy. Oh, Cacnea, did you get in the way? Cacnea, I didn't want you. I wanted Bramblin. Oh, good. I got Bramblin. Uh, let's see. You're a ghost. I don't know if that'll kill you or not. I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not strong enough. No, I believe you. If it's not there, it's not there. Bramblin is another one that you have to evolve by walking with, which cracks me up. It makes me laugh so hard. I love it so much. He's a good boy. Girl. And I've heard that people are disappointed with Bramblin's evolution. I love its evolution. It's adorable. Nice. What's Bramblin's name, folks? What do we got for Bramblin today? Not even Bramblin knows where it is headed as it tumbles down the wilderness, blown by the wind. It loathes getting wet. What's Bramblin's name? As it brambles. It's a haunted tumbleweed. I love Tumblr. That's a great name. Just open a shrine and all I'll say is, wow, do you know which one? Even what quadrant of the map it was in and I can, I can know what you mean. Bye, Bramblin. Love you, buddy. Tumblr is an excellent name for Bramblin. Ooh, there might be a gimme ghoul down here. But I need a tank. I need a tumbleweed if I'm gonna get a gimme ghoul. 
What did I just say? What did I just say? Did I say tumbleweed? I meant quick ball. My poor brain. My my poor COVID flu brain. Can't even. Ooh, I love the dung beetle Pokemon too. Come here, dung boy. It was the yellow shrine. Gotcha. The arguably starter shrine, the first shrine. Right, I'm way behind. Xando, actually, you can do those at any point. You just might not want to because they're you might be under level. But you can do those at any time you want. There are shrines across the map. You open them by removing magical stakes in the ground all over the place. Once they're gone, you can open them up. Yep, there are eight in each quadrant. And I would recommend going to your history teacher at least until day three where you kind of learn a little bit more about those stakes. You found a stake. You found one of the stakes and a sealed do door but haven't gone into any of them yet. Eight stakes. I'm speedrunning school right now. Yeah. I've only done the history class. But I'll have to eventually do it because I'm pretty sure that's where you get the shiny charm from biology. You did one math class. Yeah, I just can't imagine. It gives you like items and stuff for the midterms and the finals, but other than that. Did I kill it? Or did I catch it? I caught it. My brain, you guys, I'm telling you. My brain. It hurts. My COVID brain. All right, but now we know flamethrower. And we have a Dung Beetle Boy! Rollor! Rollor! It rolls its mud ball, mm, wink, around while the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually the time comes for it to evolve. Alright, what's Rollor's name? What's definitely not a Dung Beetle's name? Taking the Ekans approach to naming, I see, right? Rollor Roller. I guess it's better than Nud. <laughs> better than Nud, dude. <laughs> yeah. White Defender. N no, that's too many letters. Why White Defender? Why? What does that name mean? Goodbye, poopy boy. We all know you're a poopy boy, even though some don't accept it. Bonk. There's a Dung Beetle boss in Hollow Knight named Dung Defender. There's a powered-up version called White Defender. Got you. You know, deep down, I think I knew it was probably a Hollow Knight. Thing. Gibble? This early in the game? I mean, I don't particularly want a guard chomp, but that's pretty good. Dung Defender is such a good guy, though. Maybe I've met him. Have I met Dung Defender? Where I'm at? Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight just feels like a game that never ends. It feels like a game that just never, ever ends. I feel like I want to go back and play more of it, but I feel so totally incapable, and I feel like I'd have to start over from zero. And if I have to start from zero, I don't want to, because I'm already like 20 hours in. I was like 20 hours into it, and I got tired of it because it was such a huge world, and now I feel like... You need to play it all the way through. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard it's so good. Aw, oh, Gibble, come on. You got no health left, buddy. Do I have anything that has any paralysis? Gengar has hypnosis. It's so good. I've heard such. I've heard such. Dude, there's a slander down there, too. I 
keep wanting to go back to it and I keep talking myself out of it so I can keep playing new things. Well, new things are also important. Oh, come on, Gibble. Go to sleep, Gibble. Get in the box, Gibble. Don't bite me. Come on, Gibble. What are you doing, dude? Get in the ball, Gibble. Don't kill my Gengar. Trace Moss! You're kidding me. You're kidding me. How are they going to give me three in a row? Three misses in a row? What are the odds? Garchomp is one of my stars right now. Garchomp's a great Pokemon. All right, Chopin. I guess I am kind of in a cave. I wonder if a Dusk Ball would work better. Gibble! Get in the ball, Gibble! Get in the ball, Gibble. We're sort of in a cave. We're not not in a cave. Gibble! Get in the ball, Gibble. We're not in a cave, I guess. Gibble, I don't have anyone weak enough to do anything to you. You're just being stubborn. Game audio is really behind, but your mic audio is matching up perfectly with the video. I'm sure that's a, um, I'm sure that's a capture issue. I like that non-cave. That's where I found my bagong. Bagong. So you're playing Violet. Oh, Gibble needs a name, of course. I missed his. Oh no, I missed it. I missed the good description. Oh no. I missed it. I got too excited. It's a cool little cave. I guess that's why I found a gibble. Well, I don't think that's this version exclusive. Captain Crunch. Is that enough? Seven plus six. That's thirteen. One letter too many. How about just how about just CPTN? Or C A P apostrophe N. Yep. Xando was literally just seconds behind me. Xando was probably ahead of me because he had to type it out. Man, it'd be pretty good to have a dragon this early on in our squad, wouldn't it? Is there anybody I'd want to trade it out for them? It's boring to use the same old Pokemon. It's boring to use an old generation Pokemon. No, no, no. As I say, as I have literally the first generation ghost. And there are some pretty cool ghost Pokemons in this game. They did they did some good work putting some good ones in here. Alright, I'm getting distracted already with catching Pokemons. That guy, U-turn got me through some tough battles. Cyclozar man. Yeah, I have a I have a Cyclozar. It's a dragon type, right? Oh, I'm talking to an apple. What are those sable eyes doing? Where are they going? Where are they going? Are they going? I mean, are they going to go play in the? What, they look like they're going for a, a. They look like two boys, a couple of young boys going to play in the woods. Stop talking to apple. Tell me those sable eyes didn't look like they were going to make some trouble. They were going to cause some trouble. One hundred percent. Oh my goodness, what were they going to do? What do you think their plan was? It was nefarious, to say the least. They were simply up to no good. To say the very least. I wonder if you can take another Flaffy. Can you take another Flaffy? You did it. Smile, we just gotta get you some levels up. Uh oh. Aw, oh, not so not so strong against a deerling, huh? You can't dig down a flower deer, huh? You're tough against a uh, electric sheep. But when it comes to a grass deer, a little baby grass deer. By the way, more things to know if you didn't know them. 
if you do the let's go feature and your let's go Pokemon does not fight, like refuses to fight, that is because it is a shiny. Uh oh. Smoil, buddy! Who can you who can you take down? Oh, I thought that was I thought that was a shiny! Mabasta, if I thought you were a shiny. The audio is definitely behind. I didn't know it was behind for you guys because it's almost always behind for me. I couldn't even tell you the last time it's been on time for me. It's always behind. Well, let me go, Cycles are. Let me go. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I didn't mean to run into you. I'm just trying to grind up Smoil a little bit. That's proving more difficult. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Sando, do you see it? That is the Tauros of which I speak. Let me out. Go. Water Tauros. See how it has the little blue markings and the weird horn? Let's see if I can catch it. Gonna be a toughie. It is strange looking. The horn is a little weird. Uh oh. But this is what people are trading for right now. Don't crit. Don't you crit. Thank you. Critical capture? Critical capture. You love to see it. Now I could be all about adding Taurus to my team. I'll take Nimbus right off. What's up, XGN Ninja? How we doing? Just in time. I think that XG Ninja should be the name of this Taurus. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. The power of friendship. The power of friendship. Pipe, pipe, pipe. How are we doing, folks? Welcome in. Welcome to Checkpoint Church, Church for Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers. We're happy that you're here. All right, Nathan, you can actually go away. Thank you. Um, I was just paused there staring at myself. Um, we're happy that you're here. We're playing some some Pocket Man's Violet today. If you haven't been playing Pokemon, I'm obsessed with it. It's such a good game. Uh, I really, really love it, graphical issues aside. So we've just been playing some of that. Catching up on some of the stuff that we've done. I've already beaten it on my personal playthrough. I'm playing Scarlet on my own. Uh, but here at Checkpoint, we're playing um, Twitch. Ninja's not a thing for you to order about and to battle for you. That's true. That's true. Well, then I think maybe maybe Ninja should be able to choose the name. Ninja, would you like to name our Tauros for us? I feel like that's only right with the, with the wonderful raid. Glad it's still enjoyable despite the bugs. Totally enjoyable. If anything, if you just happen to be a stickler about that kind of stuff, stuff then it might be noticeable. Um, but it definitely does not, it's not at all a detriment from gameplay as far as that goes. Can we call him Pucky? Absolutely we can. So we're going to name, we're going to name our good buddy here, Pucky. Um, this is the Paldian form of, uh, of Tauros. Uh, Tauros is now a fighting type in this game. And this is the special version of it that is very hard to find. It's only the leader of the pack and it is the water fighting type, which is pretty, a pretty rare combo. Pretty cool little combo there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give him our little robo voice here. Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon. It swims by jetting water from its horns. The most notable characteristic of the aqua breed is its high body fat, which allows it to float easily. Love it. I feel special for being allowed a name. Well, normally we open it up to anybody, but especially with uh, with your raid, we got we to gotta let you be our special namer here. Call, call it out a little bit. We also need to get a shout out. Zando, if you're still in here, if you would do a shout out for XG Ninja, exclamation point SO, and then their exact name. And I think I'm going to add Taurus to my party. And I could totally do it in place of uh, in place of Squishy or Nimbus. I could go either way, really. Nice. What were y'all playing today? What were y'all playing today, Ninja? What were y'all getting into? Man, who do I want to replace?
technically I need to replace both of them because Nimbus is just going to end up being a grass fighting or a bug fighting and we really don't need that typing. Welcome to the party! Oh, you were playing some Minecraft? Is that, uh, is that up to date? It's Minecraft Monday, so we were on Planet Taco SMP, 180 mods, multi-creator community server. Super fun as it grows. Yeah, is that the one that's humongous? Yeah, 180 mods. It's crazy, dude. Insane. Insane, but I love it. Yeah, look at that cool Taurus in there, man. All right. That's a great get. Not going to lie, I might be trading that to myself in my other safe. <laughs> that might be mine in another playthrough. All right, so it sounds like we're going to be switching out Nimbus, too. So what should we switch Nimbus out for? Should we do a dragon type? Should we do Should we do Gibble? Because I did just get rid of my ground. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Or I could do Relor, which is going to be bug ground eventually. Hmm, maybe that's what we'll do. Do we need the... Do we need the... Oh, no, he's Psychic Bug, isn't he? Never mind. All right, we'll do Ground Dragon. We'll do Ground Dragon. We'll do Gibble. I was hunting eggs today so I could craft bacon and eggs, that and Mimics. This is the first Pokemon game I know of to have mimics, which is kind of fun as well. Appropriate timing. Okay, but I still need to worry about Smoliv. Smoliv is still only a level 27. And that's probably not enough for Kofu. We gotta find something that Smoliv's gonna be competent at taking down. Laffy is one. Take down Flaffy. I'm off to do some post-stream stuff. Have a great stream, my dude. I totally get an extra ninja. I'm normally, I'm quick to hop off as well. I've got, I've always like, I've always, I always feel so guilty because I gotta go, but totally get it. Totally appreciate, understand. Thanks for bringing your community here. Trusting us with them. We appreciate you. Have a great post-stream stuff. Right, we know we can take down Flaffy. That is at least one that we feel more than confident that we're able to take care of. Rest of them, not so much. Laffy, we got. Has everyone seen the Dunsparce evolution? If you haven't, you need to. You need to see the Dunsparce evolution. It is a real joy. Whoa! No Flaffy down here. Have we been up the lighthouse? I feel like we haven't. Maybe that's what we should do. Go ahead and get that save point. Tiny Meowth, so small. All the Pokemon in this game are so small, Kuro. They're so small. That's one thing that Arceus did, <laughs> is it made all the Pokemon real big and noticeable and easy to spot, and this game did not do that. I just, I, I end up crunching so many Pokemon under my under my giant behemoth monster's feet because I don't notice them. I have destroyed many Amon. There's only one foot four. I'm sure it's probably pretty accurate, but accuracy is not always better. <laughs> I don't know how much I always like accuracy. I could also see what sandwiches I could make. Hmm. So a good way, if you are wanting um, to find your water or fire Tauros, is you can do a uh, you can do a picnic, and you can go by encounter type and go to type water. Ooh, a Grimer. I don't think I have a Grimer yet. Don't really want one either. Rotom. Hey, buddy. Are you going to be too high level for me? No, you're all right. Don't do that. Don't do that, Rotom. Don't defend. Uh-oh. Yikes, that's so much damage. Are you serious?
down. No, I survived. Yes. Nicely done, Smoil. Can't believe you survived it, but you did. You might not live to tell the tale. But you might also. Not Thunder Wave. Don't Thunder Wave me. Look what you've done. Can't believe you've done this. I have noticed, I think the status effects are more effective in this game. I feel, I feel like I, um... I am more impacted than ever before in this game whenever it comes to uh, status effects. I could be wrong. That's the vibe I get. Stop watching me, Grimer. This is a private match. I would implore you to see yourself out of it. This is an A and B conversation. And I would like that you see yourself out of it. Grimer has no patience. He's like, hey, I want to fight. Hey, I want to fight too. What about me? Do you want to catch me in your Pokeball? I smell real bad. I smell real bad. Do you want to catch me? You look like somebody that wants to, wants to catch me. And hypnosis is just not working. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's not really low enough health, but let's just go for it. Let's just go. Critical capture? No. Okay, but still capture. Wrote him. Got him. Rotom, the plasma Pokemon. Research continues on this Pokemon, which would be which could be the power source of a unique motor. Do we have a name? Do we have a name for our buddy? I'm telling you guys, everyone is sick. I just got a text that my sister-in-law? Is my brother-in-law's wife my sister-in-law? Yes. My sister-in-law. Motorhead! All I can ever hear whenever I read the word motorhead is Jack Black saying it in School of Rock. What are they teaching you kids nowadays? Goodbye, Rodom. Hey, peeps, on tablets, so gonna be quiet, but hope all's well. All is good, Perry. Hope all's good with you. Thanks for the lurk. Tandem House, my buddy! Do I have one already? I'm going to go ahead and declare that if you catch a Varum, it should be named Lemmy. You got it. This is my favorite Pokemon in the whole game. This is the best Pokemon in the whole game, you guys. You don't even understand. It becomes the best Pokemon once it gets to level 53. Oh, Okuro. Okuro. Not only is it two Pokemon, it's even more than two. It is also the first ever that I know of off-screen evolution in Pokemon. Oh, I can only use Grass Drain, huh? Well, ain't this a sticky wicket? How long does Encore last? Off-screen evolution, Kuro. And I think I think we might be able to do it. Let's see. Hang on. I want to see what level it evolves out. Yeah, we can do it. So I'll show you. I will show you its evolution here on stream. How long does Encore last, dude? All right, I'll stick around. Where did you have to go? If you have to go, you can go. Don't feel like you have to stay. If you have somewhere to be. Yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, a sticky spot. I don't want to kill the tandem elves. Although there are plenty of them, I can definitely get another one. But I want this one. 
More like I'd end up lurking, gotcha. Oh, Don't kill it. Oh, it doesn't affect it because it's normal type. Silly. Now the question is, do I have the patience to raise this tandem mouse to level 53? And the answer is who, who knows. I wonder if my Encore is still in effect. No trouble using Bullet Seed, huh? See, if it were my status effect, I would have been status effected. Ooh, I got Cursed Body? That's pretty good. It's a pretty good ability. I can't do anything. Maybe I'll just try and put you to sleep and catch you. <laughs> nope. No, I won't. This tandem mouse does not want me to show you how cool it is, Kuro. This tandem mouse is like, I don't want, I don't want to show. I don't want to show how cool I am. All right, it's just, let's just try and catch it. Let's just try and catch it out right. Putting up a fight, it's like, I don't want to do it. Don't make me evolve. I don't want to evolve. Normally I like to catch my tandem mouse in a premier ball. But it's an ultra ball today, baby. They sleep with their eyes open. Yeah. That's what I mean by whenever, whenever people try to complain about this game, that's where it adds up. Because there are those polishing things that they did not do that Pokemon normally does, and I think it's very weird they didn't do them. The pair sticks together no matter what. They split any food they find exactly in half and then eat it together. Uh, we'd like to give Tandem Mouse a name. They're very cute. They're the cutest Pokemon. They are the new cutest Pokemon. I love them so much. Double Trouble. Mickey. Uh, Mortimer, Sia Mouse. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to spoil anything. How about the? What is it? The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. What about Clubhouse? No, Clubhouse isn't an app, isn't it? Clubhouse wouldn't work either. Hmm. Hmm. Mouse King? Isn't the Rat King that gross thing where all the rats' tails stick together and they become a monster, though? Mouser? I like Mouser. Mouser's fine. Mouser will do. Or how about Mousers with a Z? Mousers, because there are two of them. All right, add to my party. Collection of mice. Oh, I love that name so much. Oh, man. Kuro, you were a second too late. That's the coolest name ever. All right, goodbye. Chopin, I guess. We might get you back out, buddy. I gotta at least show Kuro what, what Tandem Mouse evolves into. Is there an NPC where you can rename? You might just also be able to rename them anything. Yeah. Yeah, Mischief is way too cool. I love that. Love it. Okay. It's been a while since we've saved. I probably have autosave turned on. Are those Grimer just watching me? It always feels like somebody's watching me. <laughs> Back up, dudes. Leave me alone, homie. All right, who can Smoil take down pretty easily? Oh man, Mischief is a ways away. Oh boy. Okay. Got to work it out for us here. Look at them, they're so stinking cute.
By the way, you need to stop being lazy about Apple TV. Watch Ted Lasso and the new Spirited movie with Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. Sarah and I watched it last night and it was so good. Apple will never win. They will never get me. I refuse. They've had me once before. They broke my heart. I'll never return. Smoil, who can you take down, buddy? Why are you so weak, man? Blah. Okay, well I guess the good news is that I can probably just take down Cosgrove. We've got a pretty we got a pretty stacked team happening here. Do I have to give you my login? These are 100% mandatory viewing. I I think I actually I might have a subscription. That's embarrassing, isn't it? I need that thing where it's like rocket rocket whatever and it deletes all your subscriptions, rocket subscriptions. No, I don't think I have it. But I definitely have had it at one point. I think I got it for exactly a month, and I was like, I can't wait to watch all these Apple TV shows. And then the month passed, and I never played it. Never watched a single thing. Dude, I'm so happy to have that water tourist on my party. That's super cool. I'm a big fan of that boy. He's super cool looking. By the way, if you would like a, a whooper on your party, you can trade one here in Coscroft. If you would care to have a whooper. I have to hunt down the water tourist to replace Quaquavel. Is it Quaquavel or Quaquavel? Or does no one care because nobody likes it? Poor Quack. Waste of space. Is it bad stat wise or is it just annoying looking? Because people were complaining about Sprigatito, but Sprigatito is, is, is actually really, really good. Mascarada. You just have to remember Mas Mascarada is a, a, a wizard. They come in and they hit hard. They can't take a hit. They come in and they hit real hard. Right. Do we got this? Do we got this? I'm worried we don't got I'm just worried we don't got this. It's a dancer, but its movement is so obnoxious and takes up so much of the screen. <laughs> I've seen the dance. I've seen the dance. I am familiar with the dance. Hey, check. It's me. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on. I'll come say hi. Does she fight me right now? She just might. I'm going to take a quick intermission, you guys. I'll be right back. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. I'll find it eventually. It's somewhere around here. BRB. Friend or foe? Friend or foe? Foe. Why are they always foes? Oh, perfect, it's not beans. It is a little slip of paper. What? The, what a way to end stream! What a way to end stream! Do you guys wanna know what Zando just pulled? Zando, there's only one of these. Out of all of the things in the bucket, there's only one. It was total luck. My friend, you have just earned yourself the exclusive Discord role of Gotcha King. Wow! <laughs> Chats in the clap for Zando, the Gotcha King. You officially have a new role, a title in our Discord of Gotcha King. Only one big stuff, big stuff. The Gotcha King Zando. Uh, we'll, we'll implement your role here in the next little while. Hopefully by tomorrow at the latest. And uh, wow! What a way to end stream, yo! This is super exciting. What? So this would have been 2011. Um, I was cast as Mr. Body in Clue. And that was a lot of fun. It's a great show. The second time I had to die on stage in a show. 
Something about this face people just want to kill. People want to see this face die. I don't know what it is. Yeah, see, they're big old boys, huh? One-hitters! One-hitters! We're just fine with that. Oop, not one-hitters, not one-hitters, not one-hitters, not one-hitters, not one-hitters, not one-hitters, not, not one-hitters. They're not, in fact, one-hitters. They are sometimes two. But it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that ring. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I just, I just beat, beat you in Fortnite, Fortnite. Master, Master of the, of the Mystic, Mystic Arts. Arts. Victory is mine. Kaiba. That does make sense. But I did definitely forget. Oh my goodness! I am so far away from you! Stop tar- We back, we back, we back. Sorry about that, folks. All right, let's see. It looks like Trombone came in. What's up, Trombone? How are we doing? Welcome into the stream. Like they saw Incineroar in Smash Bros. and thought, man, it's so cool how he taunts after every move. What if we did it with Quaquavo, but made it irritating to look at and not fun? Man, it says T-Bone. Coincidentally, I pulled Gotcha King again earlier today. For real, indeed, Kuro. Fifth reign. Uh, makes me feel better about the one time I held the throne. Three consecutive reigns. Uh, then T-Bone usurped the role. And then someone else got it, but now my title is back where it belongs. Hey, hey, there you are, and he's back. Gotcha, Bond. Boo! Caught up. Caught up. Got me Chloe, feeling it. Should I reverse time if we don't get what we want from the gotcha, Bond? I'm worried we might be able to face Nimona. She either fights us before or after this gym. I can't remember which one. All right, Kuro. It is a D4. If I, if you get a nat crit. Shoo. Nice. If it's a nat crit, you get to pick a game for a bonus stream. If it's a nat fail, I get to pick a game for a bonus stream. If it's anything else, it doesn't count. This is the best odds in the book. With a d4. Here we go. And it is a four. Kuro, you get to pick a game for us to play. Any game will do. And while you're thinking, gotcha bun for Trumbo. And I told another got jump on, please. T-Bone, you got a Dragon Ball. Six stars. Six star Dragon Ball. The Dragon Balls are looking a little scarce. We only have three. All right, I'll just write down, I'll write down that you have a bonus game to pick at a random time. There we go. Folks, uh, I know we have a lot more people here than we did at the beginning of stream, so I'll say it again. Tomorrow or or Wednesday, one of those days, I'm taking the day pretty much off to do mail stuff all day long. So everything should be mailed out by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. We're finally going to get through that mail list, doggone it. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. And this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure, but like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Yeah, let's. Yeah, that's that enthusiasm. Now let's go. Come on, the field of battle awaits. Okay, Nimona. I'll play your game. I'll hopefully win, because I don't honestly even know what levels you're at right now. It's been so long ago since the, the third gym battle, I have no idea. Before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, that it's what it's made of, stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. I doubt it. You know, Check, one look at your face, and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I start introducing you to some of my harder hitters. All right, ready? Let's have us a fruitful battle. Oh my gosh, I just got that pun. Are you kidding me? How did I just realize Fruitful Battle is because they go to Naranha and Uva? Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come out with everything you got. Okay. Pretty good startup, actually. You really chose the best possible first Pokemons. Bye-bye, Rockruff. No, please don't tell me that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
yes, uh, mm -hmm. it's a fruit pun. It's a, it's not even really a pun. Not even really. Oh, now that one might have been. Your skills are ripening. Mm -hmm. Reverse, reverse, and lose the glasses. Okay, Google set a five-minute timer. Now I can't read the chat worth anything. Please, not to my baby ears. It's already happened. It's too late. A palmy? Yeah, I'll switch my pocket hands. Uh, you know bulldoze? Perfect. Oh, I never turned the chat back on. Nobody ever said anything. Nobody ever said anything. Oh, no. I totally forgot. All right, bulldoze, palmy. Bye, pa oh, no, don't do that. Wait, bulldoze might actually still affect it. There's a chance bulldoze might still work. No. There was definitely a time where, like, earthquake still worked. Even though they were dug underground. I guess I thought Bulldoze would have done the same thing, but I guess it's too surface level. I got a killer headache, you guys. Maybe I do have the flu. I didn't think so. Florigato? Yes, I will switch my Pokemans to Good Boy. Good Boy will take down Florigato. By the way, I love the Sprigatito line. I was worried about it at first, but I'm no longer worried. I have seen all three, and I love it. I do think Crocolore is my favorite. The Fue Coco line is definitely my favorite line. But I like Sprigatito's line a lot. So I apologize to Zando for his weird duck. Oh, doing the Terra thing? Probably won't matter. You probably don't need to bother with Terrastalizing. I've not been paying attention. Have we been getting levels up? Or is it all at the end of the match? Kuro, if you're still here, I guarantee you Tandem House has definitely evolved by now. Or it will from this match at least. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think it was still level 29. Or 28. Man, not even a whole level up from this level. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. That was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Get it? Fruitful. Fruit. 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 Naranja. Uva. Uva battle. That's an Uva battle for sure. Here, take these as thanks. Thank you. I challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now. And let's battle next time we run into each other at a gym. These play on words are painful. They are. And check. I hope you get even stronger, like way, way, way stronger. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Uh, all right, time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. I actually like Nimona. I do like her. I think she's fun. She's a fun rival. Good character. All, char all the characters in this game are so good, I'm telling you. All right, do I have full health? Good. Nope, has not evolved yet. Still level 28. Well, it's going to happen during this match. I guarantee it. Ain't no way we don't get one level from all of Kofu's. All right, gym test time. Are you ready to challenge Kofu? I sure am. Never been so ready. Never been so ready to take down Kofu. I cannot see. Cannot see anyone who is here, but I'm thankful that you're all here. I, I enjoy seeing all the pocket mans down at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching these streams. We are streaming. We're planning on having a normal schedule this week, assuming nobody gets sick, which has proven to be uh, easier said than done currently. But I plan on being back on tomorrow at 1 o'clock, Wednesday at um, 9 a.m., and Thursday at 9 a.m. Oh man, Kofu, play with us, come on! And probably game together Wednesday night, if I have the energy. I'd be honored if you'd try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry everybody, I got some business to take care of with the gym leader real quiet, like. I'm keeping something waiting to see. Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay. <laughs> okay, alright. Yeah, that's fine, that's totally fine. Totally cool with us. Alright, Kofu. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. 
Thanks for the help over in Portal Man. I, you made a funny, funny, funny job. And now that I got that little see weed, I can make some real qualities with it. But don't expect me to go easy on there, no bad level. At the auction, we were battling, buying and selling at my gym. We're battling a more traditional sim. Gamba time. That works for me. And I also have my glasses back. Let's get a quick gamba in, for sure. Right before, right before the battle. Get those channel points ready. Do -do 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 -do. Setting up the prediction. One minute on the clock was NPN in a fraternity. Yes. No. One minute on the clock. Starting the prediction. Get those channel points in, baby. Moles in Texas never change this way, you see. I'm going to serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them, no. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on it just because of that. I mean, let's just go for it, yeah? Four seconds left on the clock. If you haven't, if you have not bet, we're running out of time. Prediction time was Nerd Pastor Nate. Wow. Wow. Two people. Two people said yes with 20 checkpoints. One person said no with 10K, and the 10K has it. I was not at a fraternity. Although, if you consider a... um, If you consider a... Wow, he did so much damage to me. Are you kidding? Holy moly. He did so much damage. Yeah, I'm done for. All right, well, I really thought I stood a chance, but um, it would appear I was mistaken. I mean, I don't want to use it, though. Let's do it. We're going to perish song again. Nope, wrong move. Wrong move. That worked out, though. Honestly worked out well. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all those 20 points. <laughs> right? Yep, enjoy them. Try not to spend them all in one place, okay? I really want some oil to get some levels. I need Smoil to be a little stronger. Good. Yes. Very nice. How is that somehow worse? How did it find a move that was more damaging to my grass type? Literally just survive one round, Smoil. Literally survive one round, buddy. I know you've moved on from Marble Snap, but I am pretty disappointed in the variant shop lately. I didn't have enough gold for a long time. I kept seeing amazing variants, and now that I have ample gold, the lame variants keep repeating. Very interesting! Need some real cool cards lately. Curiouser and curiouser. All right, he should die. Yes. Bye bye. Give me those smoil points. Smoil, you better level up. Man, we are getting like no XP. 
Yeah, I think I've retired. I still haven't deleted the app or anything, but I think I've probably retired. Wug Trio, ooh. Yeah. All right, if you guys have not seen Wiglet's evolution, spoiler alert, this is what Wiglet evolves into. It's very strange looking. There he is. There's the boy. I think it's rock water, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be super effective. I do not like it. <laughs> no. No, no, me neither. They look real gross. They look real gross. I also don't like their move. I don't like their uh, their ability. I do not like the word uh, gooey. I'm not a fan of the word gooey, just in general. Just as a, as a stance of mine. Look at how big this Tauros is, dude. We're gonna talk about a Pokemon taking up the whole screen, man. Did I have a real miss? With double kick? I'm pretty sure that's 100 accuracy. Please give a visual description for those of us who are driving and listening. Uh, it is three Wiglets, but now they're colored pink with white noses, and they're popping out of a rock in the ground. Instead of out of the hole in the ground. Did Mouse hold still not? Uh, I mean, Tanda Mouse. I mean. Still just level 28. Holy moly. A gross stress toy. The tide elves and floor. It's time for Raging Titus Wars. I mean, for real though, will you guys look at how big Tauros is? I have no idea you're talking about, Xando. I've never heard of such a Pokemon. If such a Pokemon exists, I wouldn't know about it. We are for regular big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna ride a boat. I really just need to do a little bit of damage so that Smoliv can get his chance. I just need some oil to get some levels. Ooh, did you see how his horns glue? That was kind of cool. I could always perish song you. Maybe. We'll keep that option in our back pocket. They glue. <laughs> yeah, what is the past tense? They glowed. I don't like that. I like glue. I'm a fan of glue myself. <laughs> All right, let's try it, Smoil. Let's see if you got it, buddy. I got my doubts. Got to be real with you, buddy. I got my doubts. But we're going to try. Are you for real a normal type? Oh, Smoil. What were we thinking? Yeah, we really messed up with you, buddy. We really messed up with Smoil. I believe we'll be switching you out for Sprigatito. <laughs> Welcome in, Sprigatito. <laughs> I would say that's an almost certainty at this point. One old man, Kofu Special, coming right up. Hang on tight to get swept away by the Surgeon Shaft. Oh, man. Poor Smoil. 
Moyle just can't hack it, dude. I love how I'm just sacrificing everyone so that Smoil can get some XP. Not even that much XP, just some. Just some XP. Yikes. What was his Parish song count at? Two? <laughs> it's literally just gonna be mischief. <laughs> It's just going to be Mischief and Smoil that are going to get any points. Are you kidding me? This has got to be a joke. I've got to keep them alive. Feels like there's a serving somewhere in that sentiment of sacrificing everyone to get some XP. Yep. That'll preach. Oof. I mean, all he's going to do is use one of his moves and I'm done for. <laughs> You're joking! I still don't think Smoil's gonna get it. Do we have an X defend? Am I gonna use a battle item for this? We do have an X defend. Will it even be enough? Will it even be enough? Or would it have to be a special defense since he's water? What typing is... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. All right, I guess we're just going to revive Gengar, I guess. I need it. I need to show that it's an off-screen evolution. Hilarious. Hilarious, dude. All right, back to the boy it started with. Come on out, Gengar. Literally all this just to show just to show Kuro. Kuro, watch. Watch the screen. <laughs> oh, man. Watch it still not evolve. Watch it still not. Oh, it still didn't do it. <laughs> no. No. Why did it not do the thing? Oh, now we're sad. I'm probably going to keep Shadow Punch for now. Why did it not show it? Silly. Fault and Blues, you're alive to one, aren't you? A little too loud, live and do say so myself. I'm pretty sure he evolves level 25, so something is wrong. Something is wrong. All right. Hey, we get some, uh, a, a, a gabette. A gabite. Hey, goodbye. It loves sparkly things. It seeks treasures in caves and hoards the loot in its nest. And we are trading out Smolive for Sprigatito. ASAP. Smolive is real weak, dude. Ha ha ha! Laws is profession is a morning market. I'm just a little, I opened this little magic card to you, huh? Flipping, flopping all well and it. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a massive you hold on tight to the last second of real individual. Now it's time to hand over a bitch. And let's get a real good photo together using pose we want to try out for a while now. What pose could he possibly be wanting to try out for a while? That's the pose he wanted to try. That was Kofu's, he's just a silly guy. He's just, he's just a goofy guy. He's just a silly little guy. That's all he is. Three dream badges in your possession, some dream bone, I'm left up finally, good, because she didn't do it, this doing do things. Level all this, do we in, that's an extra special bonus. I make sure you, you make good use of it. Chilling water. Thank you. Thank you for the chilling water. All right, it's about time I head back on to my restaurant and start to bed the next wave. You go back and see me again now, here. Of course. As if I could think of anything else. No way did it not evolve. <laughs> no way did it not. It couldn't have. It must have. Oh, come on. I just want to check on my mouse. Uh, let's see. She needs a... Pardon me. Hello. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Check, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yeah. 
Do you want to be a trainer? Number one. Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. The hair in this game is uncontrollable. It is. I actually think her hair reminds me a little bit of a uh, road. Reminds me a little bit of, of, of a road, like the one you drive on. Like a yellow, like a like a, a turning lane where you can go in between the lanes. I have a love-hair relationship with her hair. Uh, it's insane. Yeah. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita. Chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. The dividing line. Yes, absolutely. It's a passing line. What is your quest? What is your favorite color? Until then, good day to you. You'll definitely understand her hair more once you fight her. Okay, see, it did do it. Case in point of it being off screen. It never showed us the evolution, but you will notice, <laughs> you will notice that Mischief is no longer a family of two. <laughs> ah, I love it so much. I love it so much. Look at the children. Look at the children. <laughs> oh, they're protecting them. Dude, they're so sweet. Look at them. Look at them. They're adorable. Now, of course, you can still read their Pokedex entry. Oh, the other way. Hold on, hold on. Good parents. Yeah. There's Tandem Mouse. See, the couple Pokemon. The details about them are that the pair sticks together no matter what. We remember that. We read that earlier. Now, mouse hold, <laughs> which is a great pun, which is such a good pun. Where'd my camera go? Such a good pun. I will have you, I will have you uh, notice their details. The larger pair protects the little ones during battles when facing strong opponents. The, the whole group will join the fight. Now that's very, oops, I turned off the wrong thing. Interestingly enough, the Scarlet one says something very different and says that they just showed up one day. So you can actually have a family of three or a family of four. So I don't remember which one is lower odds, but it is definitely an odds thing. I love them so much. Maybe the family of three is the harder one to get. It's like one out of every 100. I love it so much. So if you fight with them, I think you might you might get the evolution screen, but if you don't fight with them, they just evolve like that. Just off screen, no pop and circumstance, they're just there. They, you just have you just have more pokemon now. And rather than just keep uh uh holding it over your head, their super move that they learn at 53 is a move kind of like fury swipes. But Fury Swipes, I think, has a maximum of four hits. And the move that they learn, it's their special move at 53. They attack ten times. Ten times. So if you Terrastalize, you use that move. You, uh, it, it does have 90 accuracy. So if you use your Scope Lens to get better accuracy and you do some IV training then that like that 20 points 10 times which is 200 power is going to be like i think they i think they said it can get up to like 60 so it can be 600 power on one move with your mouse hold which is wild all right what should i go for next what should i go for next i don't honestly remember what i've had oh i see Oh, he might be too tough for me right now. Maybe I could take down Mela now. I do have Tauros. Maybe my Tauros will let me let me take down Mela. We definitely stand a chance now. Whereas we did not stand a chance earlier. We also need to change out Sprigatito. Which also means we need a name for Sprigatito because currently it is Japanese kanji. Oh, and we still need a Masuda, a Masuda Ditto. Forgot about that. 
It's such a bummer because I really do like Small Ops Third Evolution, but it, this one must be really bad stats. It should not be as weak as it is. I mean, fairly well. It's not the worst rounded. It's pretty slow. And a weakness of defense is pretty bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's also not that good. And I would rather have... Sprigatito. Man, that's how you know you're you're down bad with this game. Are you kidding me? I just knew exactly where it was just from muscle memory of seeing this game too much. Seeing this particular line of, of, of log. Oh boy. What do we want to name Sprigatito? Any any recommendations for Sprigatito? Oh no, I can't rename it. Can I? Because it's a different trainer. Well, that's just that Pokemon's name. I think its name might be Sprigatito. I think that might just be Sprigatito in, in Japanese. Because it says its name is Sprigatito as soon as I go to the other screen. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on now, you goofy Gus. Come on, Goofy. Come on, Goofy Gus. Nope, not gonna let me. Let's see if I can do this one. Nope. It ain't gonna let me up there, is it? Okay. Okay, it was worth a shot. Let's go for my favorite walk cycle in the whole game. And that's saying something. If this is my favorite walk cycle, it really says something. Because uh, Hassel's walk cycle is pretty great. The fact that I like this one more should surprise. Let me over that hill! I've got to unlock the, the higher jump. It is so annoying to not be able to jump up hills. Hey, Squawkabillies. What's up, buddies? Whoopsie. Let's see if we can do it with our new Tauros friend. What's up, Clive? Oh, it's you, Chick. Uh, Clive, is that you? Oh, nope. I wanted to say Clive. Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Chick, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Uh, what's your end game here, Clive? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what's causing its members' odd behavior? Uh, odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they hold up in a basis, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But those are rumors. The matter I am dealing with is something entirely else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular are the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently caused stirring up mischief as well. Well, that's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that they should refuse. I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, I couldn't, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Oh, another time then. Be careful. I 
I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Nobody. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. I will be fine. We'll be fine. I wonder if Tauros can learn any other moves. Whoopsie. Oh, he does. Let us check what moves you can learn, buddy. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, there we go. I guess you know Aqua Jet, and you better hope that it's enough. Oh, wait. The first three? Hang on. Let's make sure. Yup. Prop. Oh, wait. It's the fire one, right? This is probably fine. It's not a great team, but it's enough. Should be enough. If you haven't seen one of those, these moves or these bases before, you have to take down 30 Pokemon with the Let's Go method. And uh, then you get to take on the big boss with the big car Pokemon. And sometimes it is easier than others. I'm confident the Pucky should have no issue. However, our other two friends here might have more trouble. It might end up just being Pucky that brings it home. No, not too bad, Captain Crunch. You go, Captain Crunch. Home, trombone. Glad you made it home safely. Are you back to normal work schedule stuff? Yeah, good boy ain't gonna be able to cut it though, is he? Poor good boy, he wants to try his best. I'm still pushing back because they didn't confirm about my hours were cut or not, but I'm currently supposed to be working 9 to 2.30. I guess something is better than nothing, you know? Something is better than nothing. But hopefully your, your pushing back will receive some kind of guidance and direction. Captain Crunch is killing me. Captain Crunch is playing no games. I'm really hoping Pucky's just gonna slide right in and, and finish him off. Counting on it. Our defenses are breached. It's all to the boss now. What a great way to end stream. Hopefully we'll beat Mela. I think we... Didn't we beat uh, Gua G Giacomo with our last stream too? Are we always going to end it on a star boss? Such good design. Such good design, dude. She looks so cool. Are you kidding me? She looks great. So you're the Delp who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. She's so cool. Look at her nails, dude. Her nails are incredible. Afraid the cat's meow? Sure. <laughs> I probably followed him. Right here, right now, you're going down. The 
Let's see if we got it. Yikes! Are you joking? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! What level is this Tarkle? 27? Just one level above me? Only one level? Double kick might do more. <laughs> it does! Double kick does more! In what world? How strong is Aqua Jet? Aqua Jet must be nothing, dude. I wonder if Parish Song works on, um... Works on the car. We're about to use it on Torkoal, because I can't do this. I doubt it works on the car. No shot. Ooh, I forgot about Cursed Body. Man, I love Gengar. Such a good Pokemon. By the way, you can get a tradeless Gengar. So Xando, if you're still out there and you're wanting a Gengar on your team, there is a tradeless Gengar in the game. It's not in the overworld, it's in a conversation. So I guess you are technically trading, but you're trading with an NPC. You don't need him, or you don't need a Nintendo Online. And she is in Lavincia. In the circle in Lavincia, and she will give you a Haunter. You might have to heal up after this. Come on, hurt yourself. Nice, dude. Probably going to spend the cash for a month of the standard NSO in hopes that I get a full sub for Christmas. Gotcha. Just let me know if you need any pocket mans when you do. But that Gengar is just chilling in Valencia. You decide that you want to work on your decks before then. And to any of you other lovely people out there that are playing pocket mans, the more you know. All right, Rev Rev Room. I ain't burned to a Christmas just yet. Let's see if Parish Song works. I really don't think it's going to. Well, there you go. <laughs> Doesn't affect. That's what I thought. I was about to say. There's no way, right? So I guess I just I just died. Cool. No biggie. I'll just I guess guess I'll just die. Uh let's see. I doubt it, but maybe I'm faster. No. Had a feeling. Did I hold on? No, I thought I had one out of 79. I was about to say. Good on me. A bit of a wasted move. A bit of a wasted move. Honestly, I might go for Gabite here. I really thought Tauros was going to be the one helping me, but it appeared not. Gabite to Rastalize 2! Change into monsters with hats on too! Illustrate your status type. Dress don't lie, dress lies, monsters. Dress lying is real cool. Do it again, do it again, try not to die. Woo!
That was close. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it. Uh. Woof. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Oh no! Maybe if he uses anything other than Blazing Torque. Anything. Any move in your arsenal other than Blazing Torque! I had one request! I had a single request! Well... I guess I'll make sure Tauros is nice and healed up. Because you're pretty much what we got left, buddy. I guess we're going just a minute or two over today, folks. And of course, my Terastalize is gone. So... We're in a bit of a pickle. I'm still faster? Good to know. Good to know. Very cool. Very cool stuff, guy. Very neat, guy. Very cool. Oh, he might be faster than us now, though. He is not. We are so fast. Good for you, Pucky. You're so fast. Oh, and so very alive. Good for you, Pocky. Oh, no. Oh, that is bad. That is not good news. Look at that. Tauros did end up bringing it in the end. You go. You go, Tauros. Chats in the clap for Tauros. Trying their best, dude. Nice. Will Pokemon be in the Variety Tuesday poll again tomorrow? Absolutely. I don't understand what I'm looking at. What do you mean? Rev of Room? <laughs> Is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. No, hassle's in the Elite Four. About a year and a half ago. Sepia Tone. Look at how she walks. Look at how she walks. Her walk cycle is hilarious. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Look at her walk cycle. Ah! <laughs> I love it so much. Welcome back, Millie. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that. As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls at the Academy has always been jealous of how uh, Melly is. How cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. The boots are fabulous! They're so fun! And the bends, the bends are strange. What? Come on! Not you too, Airy! I don't remember his voice. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss, what, pray, is their plan? They got in touch with the all the bullies and asked him to head over to the schoolyard. That was his voice. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Taurus of year really let us have it. Here we go. Here comes another walk cycle. You ready? Here she comes. <laughs> Mela! The flames in the back. Like, how do you sit down or not stab people walking behind you? I assume they're rubber. They're very, they're very bendable. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. I did it. She's so strong. She's so cool. She's so tough. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame charge. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Tauros. Actually, Taurus is a water type, so... You got what you came for now. Leave me alone! It's Clive! Yo, Melo from Team Star, right? That's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Charcadet! Foo! A Charcadet! Wait! Foo foo! Well, if it isn't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. Foo! You did? 
He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was going to school. I can't even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at it the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Fafoom! <clears throat> Fafoom! Charles! To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Oh, just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. There we go. That's the story. We continue to progress through the Team Star adventure. Oh, wait, we still have to see Penny. Penny might be my favorite character in the game. Might be my best girl. Check, it's me. I take it that Mela's star badge is now in your possession? Yep. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead, then the rest of the Shadar Squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Whoop. Thank you. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. Penny! My favorite supply rep. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Love it. Where does my camera keep going? Ugh, it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome! Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Thank you, Penny. I received a lot of Pokemon materials. Um, your name's Check, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Uh, they're pretty strong. They're the toughest in the game, in my opinion. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Some of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and bonded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone, but, uh, that's just some info I got by hacking other so student social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm. I don't really talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Look at Maridon just sleeping there, man. Adorable. All right. That's where we save. Good job to the squad. How do we just take down that big boss and Sprigatito as level four? What is happening? Is EXP like turned crazy down or something in this version of the game? Bizarre. All right, folks, we're going to log off for today. Um, and I will plan on being back on tomorrow at one o'clock. We'll have our Variety Tuesday voter go up over on our Discord. If you haven't joined our Discord, what better time than the present, friends? Exclamation point Discord. Join in there. We got stuff going on all the time. We're always crazy active over there. Have people engaging, asking questions, hanging out in the chat, sending prayer requests to each other, uh, doing a daily photo challenge for Advent, which started this past Sunday. So we got stuff going on all the time, folks. All the time. Um, with that, we're going to wrap up with our three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Regardless if you believe in God or do not believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, uh, like the church, hate the church, Enjoyed this stream, hated the stream. None of those things changed these three things. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we believe uh, that we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And number three, that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, we're going to go raid uh, the cat's meow. Playing some Halo Infinite. And I'll probably have to hop off almost immediately because I do have a um, 
I do have a, uh, 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 some groceries to get to. So with that, be well. I hope that you have a wonderful start to your week. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, same time, same place here on stream for another wonderful day of streaming. All right, until then. Bye. Oh, we got 10 seconds. I got to buy my for so long. I can't buy that long. Don't forget to spam. You matters in the chat as trombone and Zando did. I forgot to click the raid button and everything got all confused. And I got a little for and everything kind of changed for me. But I hope you had fun playing Pokemon. I'm going to go play more Pokemon because that's all that my life is right now. Okay, with that, bye-bye.